Okay, at long last, after you know a year, maybe a year and a half of the Microsoft Modern Calendar View being available for SharePoint and Microsoft Lists, uh, we finally have the ability to format that view. Um, so I'm not going to go through how to create a calendar view. There's lots of other videos out there on that. Uh, but there is one quirk with the formatting because the first thing people are going to want to do with this is color code it. Uh, based on something like a category field. So, um, and there's a quirk involved in that. So I just want to kind of help you through that um, so that you'll know how to deal with that when it comes up. Now, in my list here, these are some planned events for our new student week where we have a, an orientation, Greek life session, student services, IT, blah, 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 all that. But they have a category column here um, and the categories are academic, social, resource, and wellness. So basically those are, what I want to do is color code the calendar so people will be able to see by the color what type of session this is. So I've already built the calendar view, so if I go to this view called Schedule, you'll and then go to Next Month, we'll see, oh, sorry, the previous month, there is, there are our six items but they're all just this blue color. Uh, now it's by default inheriting this color from the theme of the site. So because I'm using this sort of teal, the, the theme I'm using has this teal as the primary color. That's the color being used for these calendar items. So if I want to color code that, and I know I want to use the category column, I can go to click on the view menu here, <clears throat> select format current view, and I'll use the conditional formatting and basically this is where we're going to set a rule to say if the if the category is this make it this color if the category is that make it that color now the problem is I'll select create a new view and then I can choose a column uh, what you'll find is that the category column is not here so it's not there as a choice uh, at first I thought that meant, well, then you can't use it, and then I remembered that basically this is a different view of the list. And it, in order to base a rule on a column, it needs to exist in that view, at least for right now. Maybe Microsoft will address this at some point down the road, but for right now I'm going to show you the workaround. So let me just cancel out of this. And I'm going to go to the list settings, so click the gear icon list settings and then scroll down and find your calendar view so in my case that's called schedule click that and then I just need to select category and add that to the cat to the schedule view now the category value is not going to show up anywhere because the way these modern calendar views uh, work basically the only thing that they show is the title and the uh, you know the start and end time determine where it appears on that calendar so if I want now want to use that status or that I'm sorry that category column to color code these I'm going to do the same thing click schedule format go to conditional formatting again and show all values and now I can select category so if my category is equal to and the nice thing is you don't need to remember what they are. It'll actually show you what the possible choices are. So if the category is academic, uh, I want to show it as that was a bluish color. I'll go with that. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's close enough. So let's save, and we can see immediately that that's working. So now what I need to do is this is the part that's also a little tricky. You might think, oh, well, I need to add another condition then it's going to basically put it in the same chain there. So what you need to do really is click back on the breadcrumbs here to go back to conditional formatting and here you need to add a rule. So basically you're going to add for every category that you have or if this was a status column be for every status whatever it is. Uh, for every value that you want to set a color for you need to add a rule not a condition. So keep that in the front of your mind. So now I'm going to say if the category is equal to uh, social, 
Uh, that was, was that green? Yeah, we'll go with green on that and hit save. And again, click in the breadcrumbs, add another rule if category is equal to wellness, that was yellow. And back, add another rule if category is equal to resource, it'll be red. Save. Uh, so there you go. That's that's the big secret is if you want to use a column uh, other than the title column or the start or end date column uh, to control what you know control the, the color coding of your calendar views, you just need to go into kind of the old school classic view editing uh, screen for that particular view to add in that column and then you'll be able to select it and use it for uh, formatting your calendar view. So hopefully, uh, as I said, Microsoft will make this a little bit easier going forward and not require that step. But for right now, there you go. Uh, enjoy and let me know if you have any questions or problems in the comments down below.